In the mentoring I do, I've seen a lot of messages back to me that talk about fear. There are f people are afraid of making cold calls, meeting, having board meetings, whatever it is, they're afraid of it. And that's tied back to self-image and self-esteem and questioning whether you have the ability to do those things. And most people suffer from that. Most people also get through that if they stick with it and do the things they're afraid of. But I wanted to talk a little bit about that. You've heard before that fear, false expectations appearing real. And most of the time that's the case. So let's take a couple of examples that I think will help you change your mindset, which is absolutely critical. A lot of people are afraid of talking to lawyers, accountants, bankers in particular. And so think about it from this standpoint the next time you're about ready to have those calls. Most of those people, the lawyers, the accountants, particularly the bankers, have been doing this for a number of years, 10, 20, 30, 40 years. They've seen and acted with a lot of clients and customers. They've seen some of those people that they've worked with fail, and they've seen some of those people be successful and also achieve a great deal of wealth. And for the most part, a lot of those people are sitting there and take the example of a banker. He or she has lent money over the years. Some of those people became very, very wealthy doing what they were planning to do with the capital that he supplied from the bank. So they may sit there and often do, and I've talked to a banker who said, yeah, you're exactly right. They may sit there and say, you know what? Over these years, I've seen a lot of people come in. Some of them have been great successes. And here I sit doing the same thing day after day after day. And man, I wish I had the balls to do what they did. So, and that's true in a lot of cases. So if you can think of that as the lawyers, accountants, bankers, they all have a product to sell. They're all hired hands, if you will. There's plenty of places to, to get it. Bankers, if they don't sell their capital, they're out of business. So think about that. But think about the fact that they wish and are envious in the journey that you're on and wish they had the guts to go ahead and do it. And they'll make excuses about their family or putting kids through college, all the other excuses that everybody has. But if you think about them in that way, when you approach them, you will be thinking of yourself as having the upper hand, not the other way around. One of the things that I recently did was put up three podcasts with uh, three people that had two of which had done acquisitions. The third was about ready to complete their first acquisition. All three of those have been in my group coaching and I'm about ready, depending upon when you're listening to this, if you're listening to it on April 15th, 15th? Yeah, yeah. April 15th, <laughs> 2022, uh, I'm going to begin to fill some spots I have in group coaching. So if you're interested in that, go over to brucewhipple.com, go up to coaching, you'll see the VIP, which is sold out, uh, and then the group coaching. And if you're interested in that, send me an email and say I'm interested. Understand what the time commitment is, what the financial cost is. I ask people to only sign up if they can be in it for three months because I don't want to have a lot of churn. So that's there if that would help you. Again, all three of the people on those podcasts all went through group coaching. So that tells you something. But remember that example of those people looking at you, wishing they had the guts to do what you're doing. And I think you're going to find your mindset changes and you're much more comfortable interviewing them, not being interviewed by them, which oftentimes turns out to be the case. So if you're on my mailing list, great. If you haven't gotten my free class, go over to uh, brucewhipple.com, click on a free class. It's the top 10 objections to acquiring a business, or you can just go to uh, directly go.brucewhipple.com forward slash free class and get it there. But those are the top 10 objections that you hear most often throughout this process and the best answers that I know of to address those. So again, go.brucewhipple.com forward slash free class. If you go directly to brucewhipple.com, 
you can find it there as well as the information on group coaching. Okay, so change your mindset, change your attitude, and you're going to be much more successful.